Today, we're going to have a look at this armadillo lizard, which is made by S-O-T-A Gacha. They seem to be a company that employs freelance sculptors by the looks of things. Welcome to Ted's Tatten Trinkets, doing the reviews that no one views. Just a bit of backstory on this one. Initially, I thought this was part of the Dango Mushi 7 line made by Bandai, which actually has a nice looking armadillo lizard in there. Sadly, it is not. But I still think there is potential. Out of the machine, it looks a bit like this. Hmm, I have a feeling assembly is required. Let's open it up. Beautiful. Inside is a flyer with factual information on the two types of lizard available in Japanese. One of the lizards is the Centralian Rough Knob Tail Gecko. Apparently it is endemic to Australia. Yay, go Australia. And the other one is, of course, the Armadillo Lizard. Let's -a go. Hmm, I see we have a bag of lizard parts and assembly is required. So, let's stick this poor little guy together. Just a quick note, while it's obviously pretty easy to slap together, the connection joints are designed with specific shapes, so you can't get the wrong leg in the wrong place. However, some of them are hard to get in, and this little armadillo guy is a spiky little bugger, so expect some finger discomfort. Also, please note that you want to do the front legs before the hind legs, otherwise it might be a bit tricky. The tail as you see fit. And the last step, drop on the top of his head. Ah, what a cutie. A solid, unmoving cutie. Its sculpting is very nice and it has heaps of detail. It's actually pretty impressive. If you stalk the sculptor's Twitter, you can see they're rather fond of lizards. It's a pretty good size and it fits in the hand nicely. The paintwork is also pretty nice. There's lots of nice shading on the scales. Some nice highlight on the eyes and some rather nice under chin decorations. Are they veins? I don't know. They look like they could be. I do like the look of it, but one question. How to display? There appears to be no way to have this thing stand by itself. It just, it's kind of there. And as a solid piece, essentially a statue you assemble yourself it can't make it do any other lizardy poses at all, it's solid. One more other question. Why is it in parts? Rolled up into a ball, it fits perfectly into the little capsule case that it comes from. While I appreciate what has been done here, 500 yen seems a little over the top especially when comparing it to the earlier mentioned Dango Mushi series from Bandai, which is also 500 yen, and articulated. It makes me wonder if this is a sneaky attempt to trick foolish people like yours truly into thinking that they are getting the Bandai super version when they are in fact not. So, it has a good sculpt and a good paint and a good feel and it is kind of cute but there is no articulation 
and its display options are therefore incredibly limited. You also don't get a stand or anything with it. So what to do? I guess leave it on the mantelpiece to startle visitors. Thanks for watching.